Good afternoon, Pastor Jerry here from Crossroads Church at Cleburne. It's time for our daily reading. Today we're reading from Acts chapter 11. I'm going to be using the New International Version or NIV version today. So I encourage you to pull out your books to Acts chapter 11 or simply sit back and listen as I read Acts 11. The apostles and the believers throughout Judea heard that the Gentiles had also received the word of God. So when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers criticized him and said, You went into the house of an uncircumcised man and ate with him. Starting from the beginning, Peter told them the whole story. I was in the city of Joppa praying, and in a trance I saw a vision. I saw something like a large sheet being let down from heaven by its four corners, and it came down to where I was. I looked into it and saw four-footed animals on the earth, wild beasts, reptiles, and birds. Then I heard a voice telling me, Get up, Peter, kill and eat. I replied, Surely not, Lord. Nothing impure or unclean has ever entered my mouth. The voice spoke from heaven for a second time. Do not call anything impure that God has made clean. This happened three times, and then it was pulled up to heaven again. Right then, three men who had been sent to me from Caesarea stopped at the house where I was staying. The Spirit told me to have no hesitation about going with them. These six brothers also went with me, and we entered the man's house. He told us how he had seen an angel appear in his house and say, Send to Joppa for Simon, who is called Peter. He will bring you a message through which you and all your household will be saved. As I began to speak, the Holy Spirit came on them, and as he, as he had come on us at the beginning. Then I remembered what the Lord had said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. So if God gave them the same gift he gave us, who believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I to think that I could stand in God's way? When they heard this, they had no further objections and praised God, saying, so then, even to Gentiles, God has granted repentance that leads to life. Now, those who had been scattered by the persecution that broke out when Stephen was killed, traveled as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, spreading the word only among Jews. Some of them, however, men from Cyprus and Cyrene, went to Antioch and began to speak to Greeks also, telling them the good news about the Lord Jesus. The Lord's hand was with them, and a great number of people believed and turned to the Lord. News of this reached the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, what the grace of God had done, he was glad and encouraged them all to remain true to the Lord with all their hearts. He was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and faith, and a great number of people were brought to the Lord. Then Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he found him, he brought him to Antioch. So for a whole year, Barnabas and Saul met with the church and taught great numbers of people. The disciples were first called Christians at Antioch. During this time, some prophets came down from Jerusalem to Antioch. One of them, named Agabus, stood up and through the Spirit predicted that a severe famine would spread over the entire Roman world. This happened during the reign of Claudius. The disciples as each one was able, decided to provide help for the brothers and sisters living in Judea. This they did, sending their gift to the elders by Barnabas and Saul. This is Acts chapter 11. We're seeing the church growing. We're seeing it moving. And now it's not only with the Jews, but also with the Greeks, the Gentiles. The Greeks and the Gentiles, that would have been interchangeable. When they say Greeks, they mean the Gentiles are getting the word of God too. And they're see we're seeing that the Holy Spirit is working through them that God has received the Gentiles, and the word is continuing to go out throughout the world. This is a great time for the church. This is a great time for the kingdom of God as it begins to spread throughout all that region, as it begins to spread through the known world. And that spreading has lasted for over 2,000 years, that we get to hear it, that we get to share in it even today. I pray that this encourages you, that it strengthens you, that you have a blessed day. Remember, I love you. I'm praying for you. May God keep you until we're together again.